Hey legends, welcome back to Tricks of the Trail. In this series, I share my best quick tips for hiking, camping, and everything outdoors. If you're like me, you love finding new trails to explore. So in this episode, I'll be sharing my five best tips for finding epic new trails near you. First up, I think the easiest way to find popular trails is to use one of the various mobile apps that are out there. Depending on the app, you'll be able to find a variety of trail options with useful information and even offline navigation. Keep in mind, a lot of these apps will have a pro version, which usually charges you a monthly fee for all the really useful features, but a lot of them will have free versions as well, which is just great for researching new trails. Some of the apps that I personally use are All Trails for hiking. Uh, All Trails is one of my favorite apps. I'm using it right now, actually. I'm hiking here in Cowberry National Park. Park, and I've downloaded the offline route for this trail which helps with navigation make sure I don't get don't get lost out here in the heat. Um, I also use Trail Forks which is more of a mountain biking app um, great for finding new mountain biking trails in your area and another one of my favorite apps is Far Out which is mainly for through hiking and super long distance trails which um, if you guys have followed me for a while you might know that I'm really into. Um, that app has a lot of useful information for hikes across the world. Uh, tip number two, which continues the theme of mobile apps, is Strava, and specifically Strava heat maps. With the pro version of Strava, you can access their global heat map, which aggregates all the activities from trail runners and hikers across the world, and produces this map which shows the most popular routes taken. The thicker and darker that the heat lines are on the map, shows how often those trails are used and is really good for seeing which trails the local adventurers are using the most. Most states or countries will have a local source of trail information, usually run by the government or parks department. Here in Western Australia, we have Trails WA, which is an awesome resource detailing hiking, cycling, and all other types of trails across the state. The website is great for a deep dive into all kinds of trails across the region. There's usually plenty of extra information on these types of websites and resources as well, such as facilities nearby the trails and the cultural and historic significance of the trails themselves. Another option to find great spots is social media. Instagram and other social media platforms have a plethora of information available. Try finding local creators that hike often and love to share their adventures to find inspiration for your own. I personally love sharing all of my hiking adventures on social media and I know that there are similar creators across the world that do that too. You can utilize the search functions on the different social media platforms, specifying the hashtags and locations to find ultra specific adventures near you. And lastly, the best way if you're looking for first-hand trail knowledge and experience is to join up with a local tour guide or hiking group. You'll be led by local experts and often discover new trails while out adventuring with the group. Not only that, but you're gonna meet other local hikers that will probably have some cool spots to share as well. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Tricks of the Trail. If you found it useful at all, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to catch future episodes. Hey, if you're interested in supporting the channel further, why not join my Patreon community? You'll get access to private group hikes and camping trips, my interactive adventure map of Western Australia, and behind the scenes for as little as $3 per month. Click the first link in the description to check out my Patreon profile.